Hello dear students and welcome to the video. In this video we will continue talking about trigonometric functions and their graphs but in this week we will focus on the trigonometric identities. Trigonometric identities are the equalities that involve trigonometric functions and holds true for all the values of the variables given in the equation. There are various distinct trigonometric identities involving the side length as well as the angle of the triangle. The trigonometric identities hold true only for the right angle triangle. The trigonometric identities that we will cover in this unit will be based on the six trigonometric ratios that are the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. All these trigonometric ratios are defined using the sides of the right angle triangle, such as an adjacent side, opposite side, and the hypotenuse side. There are various identities in the trigonometric functions that we will focus in this unit, starting with the reciprocal trigonometric identities that are the cosecant, secant, and cotangent, Cosecant equals 1 over sine theta, secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta, and cotan theta equals 1 over tan theta. The major trigonometric identity that we will focus on is the Pythagorean trigonometric identities. We already covered the basic one, which is sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Using this identity, we will extract other identities such as 1 plus tan squared theta equals secant theta, cosecant squared theta is equal to 1 plus cotan squared theta. Then we will, we will focus on the odd and the even trig functions. The odd trig functions are the sine theta, tan theta, cotan theta, and cos cosecant theta, whereas the even trigonometric functions are the cosine theta and the secant theta. Then we will end this week by talking about the sum and the difference of angles trigonometric identities that are sine a plus b, cosine a plus b, tan a plus b. Thank you for listening and I can't wait to see you in the class.